What is going on cryptocurrency investors? My name is Landon. Welcome to Crypto Review Central. On this channel you can find weekly cryptocurrency videos that cover a whole wide range of topics. This channel is evolving into a more advanced look at the cryptocurrency markets that include fundamental analysis as well as anything that is trending in this space. We have an entirely new giveaway structure in the description below. All we have to do is hit our like threshold. Our views are great, but our engagements are not. So make sure to hit that like button and comment something of value once you've finished watching the video. We are constantly having a look at this diverse cryptocurrency market and all of the assets respective prices. Yesterday we talked about millennials taking over value transfer and opting for a digital asset rather than traditional fiat. It is true, many digital assets are evolving to the degree that they are better than much of the traditional structure. This is becoming more true as cryptocurrency permeates a variety of industries. Recently I personally made a purchase of a DSLR camera from Amazon using Bitcoin. I used a third party website called Bedali.com. I highlighted that in yesterday's video. I sent them Ethereum and they promptly gave me a valid Amazon gift card for the amount that I requested. You hear more and more of things like Bitcoin ATMs popping up all over the place. The idea of real world use is becoming more and more apparent. For me personally, it's a very life changing and was a surreal experience to receive like a thousand dollars worth of gear in exchange for Bitcoin. You can find a retailer in almost every genre that's beginning to accept cryptocurrency en masse. There are also a number of car dealerships that are accepting Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, or sometimes Ripple or even Verge. This is indeed a brave new world, as Aldous Huxley said, and I'm all for it as it's brought a sustainable lifestyle to me personally, and I'm increasingly excited for what the future has in store. Today's video is on a specific asset that is new to me, as are many incredible assets that are always coming onto my radar. This particular asset is bridging the gap between point of sale systems and cryptocurrency. GRAFT stands for Global Real-Time Authorizations and Funds Transfers which is a decentralized global open platform for processing real-time authorizations and settlements, and settlements of merchant payments and fund transfers using untraceable blockchain, decentralized API, and an open community of service brokers that support a variety of payment and payout methods, including cryptocurrencies, cryptographic tokens, and traditional credit cards and bank transfers, which those last two are very important. Graft is a decentralized payment system, and that sounds very much like every other cryptocurrency, does it not? It very much does, but it isn't like every other cryptocurrency. Many cryptocurrency assets are decentralized digital currencies and are not payment systems. Other cryptocurrency assets are the equivalent to paper money but in digital form, of course. They are the cash rather than the actual payment system. Graft could be compared more accurately to Visa or MasterCard that used cash in their payment processes. Visa and MasterCard make it easier to transact with fiat and that's exactly what Graft does, but includes cryptocurrency. Instant cryptocurrency payments at the point of sale without the merchants being subjected to the typical risks associated with the acceptance of cryptocurrency payments. Simply, it makes it possible to use your cryptocurrency for everyday purchases. It's actually a whole lot more than that, but for simplicity's sake, it could be the missing crypto link that the market has needed for quite some time. They are essentially connecting the vast cryptocurrency markets with everyday retailers. And whether it's through Graft or any number of third party organizations that are stepping in and accepting cryptocurrency for gift cards or redeemable credit with retailers, or in some cases straight up cash, it's beginning to happen and will become more common as time goes on. I think Graft themselves did a great animated short explaining their design and purpose, so I'll let you experience that firsthand. Things seemed to be going okay. People were buzzing about their business. Working, shopping, dining, filling gas, getting entertained. They'd pay with cash or credit cards. Most places would accept both. Some would accept one or the other. Sure, there were imperfections, like sometimes you'd lose some cash, or other times bad guys would try to steal from you, or the business would refuse to take credit cards and you didn't have any cash, or you forgot your wallet at home, or you went abroad and the card that you had wouldn't work but that was all manageable. Except the business had to pay quite a bit of money to the banks and intermediaries for processing those payments, or worry about keeping cash on hand to give change. Okay, 
maybe it wasn't so grand. So cryptocurrency showed up with the promise of being able to tackle some of those issues. The idea was that you could use crypto in place of cash or cards to pay for products and services. You could use it anywhere and it would be really private and secure. Pretty cool. Except the businesses don't really know how to accept it. And exchanging it back to the money for keeping financial records or paying employees is sort of a little problematic. And it's really not all that private, since anyone can figure out where the money went and where they came from. The transaction rates are very high, and it's the user who ends up paying for the transaction. Not good. If only, somehow, it could all work transparently, so it wouldn't matter to the business what the customer paid with – cash, crypto, or credit card. If at the end of the day, the business could decide how to distribute the money – some back to cash, some keep in crypto – and they could run loyalty reward programs on top of it. And the user would be able to pick how they want to pay for things, would pay less because the transactions are less expensive for the merchant, and wouldn't have to pay sky-high interest on the cards that carry a balance. And all the transaction and payment information would remain private. Wouldn't that be awesome? It's true, the buzz about cryptocurrency that was at an all-time high back in December of 2017 has dwindled. Recently, the Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin was talking about the lack of use in the various assets, participation in the network themselves, rather than the current emphasis on trading them on the various cryptocurrency exchanges. If all we are going to do with crypto is trade it and speculate on its price, then in my opinion, it will likely stay struggling below $500 billion or in today's case, below $200 billion and never truly see its potential. Vitalik is right. More assets need to focus on getting their name accepted in a variety of retail stores than they need to focus on marketing or getting higher volume on an exchange. We need to find true utility for these assets. They need to be used in our day-to-day -day purchases, whether it's getting gas, doing groceries, shopping for clothes or other retail goods, or what I recently did and buy production equipment on Amazon using Bitcoin, or specifically in this case, Ethereum. The big market explosion that almost seems inevitable at this point will truly be brought on by a focus into point of sale connectivity, just like what Graft is doing. Upon further investigation into their white paper and talking about some of the current downfalls of existing cryptocurrency assets and their lack of connectivity to point of sale consumers, I realized the profound impact that Graft could have on this entire space. The idea of connecting point of sale systems in as seamless a way as possible has come up in the past before, but is yet to be really achieved by any one asset. Graft seems poised to do just that, and could spark an entirely new focus for some cryptocurrency development teams in achieving what is likely part of their ultimate dream, being accepted by major retailers around the world. It's really a dream for both development teams and users alike. As much as some of these development teams want to be accepted by McDonald's or Walmart, I too want them to be accepted by those brands because it would help me tremendously in finding work in exchange for Bitcoin and or any number of cryptocurrency assets and using that Bitcoin or crypto to live on. I currently use Bitcoin to live. I transfer it into Canadian and I get away with what I can exchange cryptos for directly. Like I said, I just bought this DSLR camera and what Graft is doing could indeed have a tremendously large impact on my life and like I said, the entire market as a whole. As you can see by the Graft universe, the inherent benefits brought about by blockchain technology to record transactions onto the blockchain and maintain integrity throughout the entire process is invaluable when it comes to people's money. Imagine a world in which crypto is everywhere at the point of sale. You accumulate a different crypto asset through investment, work, playing games, charity, even exercising. You use these crypto assets to purchase goods and services. The loyalty programs now all run on crypto. The interest rates are lower because of peer-to-peer -peer lending through the network. Foreign transaction fees are all but forgotten and you don't need to worry about exchanging fiat currencies hardly ever. 
Not only that, but anyone can start generating extra income by becoming a part of the network, performing authorizations, exchanges, or maintaining gateways. You can earn passive income by becoming a part of the Graft ecosystem. With the mobile point of sale app and Graft Crypto Find, you can use the Graft multi-currency wallet to explore the would-be future of using digital assets for everyday purchases. It's really a cool, sleek, and incredibly innovative idea that I hope really takes off. You can check them out on coinmarketcap.com or at graft.network. They're currently at one cent and only on a handful of exchanges like Trade Ogre, Cryptopia, and Stocks.exchange. They came onto the market earlier this year and have an incredibly low volume day to day spiking to a quarter of a million dollars at one point, but it's still very much in its infancy. The idea remains revolutionary. They just need to get more exposure and given another big bull run, I could really see this asset taking off. Until then though, I will continue to bring you the daily ebb and flow of market analysis and any trending news so that you too can ride this revolution all the way into mainstream consciousness. Keep fighting that good fight. We are on to something big here. The next Amazon or Facebook, some say, and I would tend to agree. I've been in this space now for almost a year covering the cryptocurrency news, and I am still as hopeful as ever for what the future might have. All we can do is watch and wait. I wish the Graft team the best of luck, and I wish you the best of luck in all your future cryptocurrency endeavors. Thank you once again to the CRC crew for your continued support. Flash drops and flash pumps are common in this space, so please don't panic. Keep calm and hold on. Until next time, everyone.